all summer long, <sighs> I have been enjoying one of the recipes from our first guest. We are going to cook with my good friend who literally wrote the book on food that tastes like home. He is the best-selling author of Korean American and a New York Times staff food writer. Please welcome back to the show for his third visit with the Tam fam, the one and only Eric Kim. <laughs> Love having you on. First, I have to tell you, Eric has a tuna salad <laughs> recipe that popped up in my New York Times feed. I probably eat it once a week. Oh, yeah. It is the best tuna salad. Thanks it's amazing. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really simple. I think a little sesame oil makes a difference. A little sesame yeah. oil. Make the, go online and make this one. But meanwhile, what are you in the mood for today? Man, I'm in the mood for kimchi fried rice. Kimchi fried rice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You know, I, I have read a quote from the book, and I have it here that was so touching my heart. Let me go into the kitchen to get it, because I want to read it accurately. You said in your book, there will come a day when I can no longer ask my mother how to cook her food, and even the dishes I do know how to cook. I'll have to work out how to make them taste like hers without being able to call her to finesse the details. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna make me cry. These are the onions, right? Me These too. are the they, onions. They pulled this picture up, so I'll cry. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think for me it was just realizing that, in, with, especially with my job at the New York Times, I'm constantly interviewing chefs, trying to get the details with them in their own kitchens. And there is a thing where you can go home after a restaurant meal or a meal with mom, and you can replicate it yourself, but the best way is to cook it with the person. Yeah. So, you know, in that way, you can do that with your parents right now. It's sort of always been the theme or the thesis statement of that cookbook, mm -hmm. Korean American, which is write down your family recipes before write it's down. too late. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I love your recipes. You are like family. We are the Tam fam. We are family. <laughs> so we're going to write this down yeah. and do this. All yeah. right, where do we start here? Okay, so... Oh, I'm over here with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. you know what? The first thing that's really important is rice. You boil it for about 20 minutes, and then the trick is to take it off the heat, cover it, and just let it sit let for it 10 sit. minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you'll have perfect rice like this, which you can fluff up. All right, so we got the perfect rice yeah, as our base. We have the perfect rice. And I wanted to talk about our cooking method because okay. I'm showing you a fried rice. And this kimchi fried rice, it's sort of like a nexus point in my relationship with my mother. It's, mm. you know, this is like gonna make me cry, but it's every time I go home, she makes it for me. Every time I come, every time I leave home, she packs it for me on my drive back oh. to New York. When I came out to my parents when I, when I was younger, it was the, the meal that we ate at like 3 a.m. after four bottles of wine, uh, you know, after the conversation. Um, and it's just a comfort meal that we can always go back to yeah. and she can make with leftovers. So oh, okay. this is my, 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 my dish. Um, but I wanted to talk about the sheet pan. So, you know, I think you guys know what this is, but I wanted to talk about it specifically because you don't have to fry this rice. Oh, you it's, don't. It's like fried rice, but we make it all in the oven. Love it. So it's so hands off. Okay. And I think these are really useful to have in the kitchen. I love sheet pan. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like you can put it in and do other things. Exactly. I'm a huge fan of the sheet pan cooking trend. So you got the sheet pan, got, you got the our sheet rice. Pan. What do we do? Okay, next. Because I'm hungry. Yes, yes. This is the <laughs> this is the flavor based, a very red kochujang, which is a Korean chili paste. Okay. And it has a lot of umami, it's very delicious. I love this recipe because it encompasses very key Korean flavors. That this is a good like gateway recipe if you've okay. never cooked Korean. This is some kimchi juice. It's just the kimchi brine that's in the jar. Okay. Oh, just and, from the jar. Yeah. Perfect. And, and this is excellent for um, for flavor. What I love too is that you're seeing grocery stores around the country yeah. carry more diverse food selections, so yeah. you're not having to drive an hour from home to find yeah. the one place yeah. that might have it, and then they don't, and then you find yourself online googling it for it. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that's good. Okay. So you can find all of this in many grocery stores, but especially in Asian supermarkets. Okay. okay this, this is, is sesame, sesame oil. And this is the taste of home for me, I would say, because it has this nuttiness. And I mean, this is the thing that made you I love, love the tuna Toasted. salad, yes. right? It gives a round quality. It's a staple now in my staple. pantry. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, this is just soy sauce. All right. But this, the, this is one of the really important um, seasonings. And with this, you, you actually want to add a little sugar, because we have a lot of salty, umami, mm. uh, bright. But we need a little base note kind of sweetness to balance You're not going to lose us with the sugar. No, <laughs> no one in the TAM fam is going, now you lost me, Eric Kemp. <laughs> and We're like, salt. great, salt, okay. Salt. Do you want to uh, whisk yeah, that I up will. for us, actually? Gladly. Yeah, that'd be good. Take that. All right. And then, you know, this, this is really like, um, 
It's not a traditional way to do it, but the content is the same. Okay. So I love messing with techniques a little bit. It makes like traditionalists angry, but I, <laughs> but whatever. I think. When, <laughs> but whatever, when, I like it. When you get to a final result that's as good as this, I think it really makes a difference. So you know, this is a very like strange experience. Okay. Um, this is our kimchi. Yeah, this is the kimchi, mm -hmm. and you want like a really ripe one and. One thing you can actually do is you can have it sit out at room temperature for a day or overnight. Oh. That will get it to have that more like punchy flavor. Okay. And then we can add the onion okay. now. And um, it's a lot of onion. So, so we're what just, size onion it's a is lot it? of onion. It's a large onion. Okay. It's a yellow onion. But the reason is it really adds sweetness and crunch to the final fried rice. Okay. We're going to bake this all in the oven, but it doesn't fully cook through. It's like, it, it just like has a nice texture. I love how you have me over here working. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to okay. add this. So now this is. This is this easy to find? It is. Okay. It's easy to find. This is just kim. Uh, you'll see it at, uh, labeled as roasted seaweed. It's often in those little packets, and you can like snack on them. It's and it's really available now everywhere. You everywhere. can find it in the snack okay. aisle. You can find it um, at, in the checkout aisle of many grocery stores okay. now. Look it's how beautiful that looks. Though, it's right? a great. Look it's, at that. It's a flavor base, and now we just had the like rice. Something I wore. <laughs> 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 I match the color to your matches. dress. Look at that. That's I beautiful. I love your dress, by the way. Thank so, you. Yeah. And then the rice goes in, the rice that we made earlier. And now, is this spicy? It's a little spicy, but not too spicy. Okay. I mean, there's so much sweetness Well, I love here. spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, there is heat, but there's also warmth and sweetness. We have the rice. We have mm -hmm. onions. Um, and so this is all together. Just Am I stir doing it this together. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm going to just slip under here with and get some butter. Ooh. So. The reason we have the sesame oil and the butter, it's for flavor, but also because we don't have to grease, you don't have to grease the pan. Oh, okay. That's what's kind of cool about this. You don't have to grease, I hate greasing pans, personally. <laughs> I mean, I can, I'm All lazy. the secrets of for a best-selling chef is just like us. <laughs> for the chef, next I'm time kidding. you're having to grease a pan, you're like, really? I know mean, that the chefs hate it, too. <laughs> so we put it on the sheet pan. And now you just have to transfer it. I'll do this oh, for Oh, okay. Us. Yeah. All right. All you, yeah, all you're stronger have, than me. Have a, I mean, we'll. I mean, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> like tiny arms. Um, I think I've, I, I've. You've just done it more. I've gained some muscles from carrying things. Okay, right. But yeah, um, I, I just love this because you don't even have to uh, grease the pan. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> you don't even I have tell to grease people the pan. this is real life cooking. This is. This is real life cooking. My dog would go like pick that up. Oh gosh. Um, do you have a dog at home? I have a dog at home. Oh. What's his, what's her her name? name is Exodus. <gasps> Moses and Exodus. Oh, oh. But we don't let her eat scraps. She's, <laughs> she's a big girl. The doctor, actually, just the vet just told us our dog has to go on a diet. So, <gasps> but because I've been recipe testing and things end up on the floor, and I think she's been. Oh my okay, God. so Tamara, I'm really excited about your book. Oh my gosh, you know Tell what? You've inspired later. me um, to your point about remembering recipes. It's a love letter to my father yeah. and family, and I can't wait to tell more about it. But okay, yeah. okay, we're going to put this in the oven. Well, so actually, yeah, yeah. Put oven. it in the oven. Yeah, yeah, we're we're going to cook it for 20 minutes. And coming up, we're going to see the finished touches on Eric's kimchi fried rice. But first, we heard from Tam Fam member Nicole in Houston, Texas, who's sharing her Thai red curry inspired by her father. That's what she's in the mood for. Take a look. My name is Nicole and I'm a single mother of a 12 year old daughter and I love cooking her elaborate meals. So my love of food and my passion for cooking came from my father. And I always try to keep his memory alive by cooking the meals that he made for us. One of our favorite recipes to cook is a Thai red curry. We're gonna start off by sauteing some onions and ginger. Add your red curry paste and heat for about one to two minutes. Next, you're gonna add your chicken and cook until about 80% done. And then you're gonna add your bell peppers. Now you can pour your can of coconut milk, stir until combined, and then add your bamboo shoots. Now we're going to add some fish sauce. I like to add about four or five more tablespoons of red curry and just a hint of brown sugar for sweetness. Let everything simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked. Garnish with cilantro and a squeeze of lime on top. Serve over jasmine rice and enjoy. Mm -hmm. In the mood for. I'm here with my good friend, New York Times food writer and best selling author of Korean American food that tastes like home, Eric Kim. So I always say for five seasons, I am not a cook, I am a professional eater. <laughs> so, that's so what's important. That's what's most important. We've been preparing your kimchi fried rice, and you can actually scan the QR code on the screen for the full recipe. All right, before break, we put the rice inside the oven. You said bake it 20, 30 minutes? Yes. All right. And then what's really great is, as it comes out, you can, can you tell that it's a little crispy? It is. It's crispy, so and I love that crisp. 
Okay. That's what the shape pan does, and it gives you the most crisp, more than a frying pan. More than a frying pan. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Okay, All right. So that's not the only ooh and ah. You got it's, another secret here. I got a little secret. I learned this from my my editor at the New York Times, Genevieve Co. She bakes her eggs, and you know, baked eggs, whatever. But these are fried sunny side up eggs. Okay. And what's really great is this is how I like my eggs. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And and what's really great is you want to actually help me crack. Yeah. Uh huh. So you just. Crack. I'm known for the one hand crack. Oh really? I can't even. I can't do that. No, everyone always says that, and then watch me mess it up. <laughs> Whoa, nice. <laughs> that like, that, that's good. <laughs> I'm known for me being able to do it once. I'll let you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who, like, I, I crack the yolk every time I do this. I know. I don't even know why that became, like, my one hat trick at dinner parties. Watch me do the egg. That's All a right. fancy thing to show. Well, what's really great is the reason to bake them isn't just convenience. It's also, you get this custardy white. Mm. It's kind of like a Japanese spa egg, an onsen egg. It's a texture that's unlike anything else. Okay. You'll taste it in a second. But what's really cool is this only bakes for three minutes. Three minutes, okay. And then, so this will go in the oven again. You have to watch it. You want to make sure it doesn't go in too long. And then wow, out comes this. So see how it's still jiggly? Yeah. Amazing, right? It is. The whites are cooked. The whites are totally cooked. cooked. The whites are cooked. And the yolks. The yolks are creamy. The yolks oh. are runny. Oh, you see I that? love that. So we can taste now, Okay, actually. let me taste this. Yeah. I know this is now, hard. for people who don't like runny, my husband's one of those people. What right, do right, you right. do? Can you leave it in Oh, you can totally long? leave it in longer. You can leave it yeah. as long as you want. See, I like mine runny because look at how creamy. <sighs> what a perfect egg. That starts to get. You oh. can't get that in a frying pan, actually. Oh, you cannot get okay. Yeah. Here we go. And then you just take a bite. I'm going to take more than a bite. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, whoa, is that? Mm. Mm. Our TAM fan member said, before I can say anything, she goes, yum. I'm like, you are correct. This is so, I taste right, right. the warmth, the heat, the sweet, everything. And it's so easy. You have the New York Times cooking YouTube channel. That yeah, you're yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So we have this YouTube channel, NYT Cooking, and I have a new recipe, recipe series. Recipe quest. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a new series coming out where you know, this job at the New York Times has really taught me how much work goes into a single recipe, mm. how much legacy, how much research. I just really wanted to share that with people to show people the work behind the recipes that you see every wow. day. So that's what that uh, show is gonna share on okay. the YouTube channel. Yeah. All right, and Korean American, which is just a beautiful love letter, um, you release it on your second? On oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm working on a second book. It's, a, it's gonna be more of a collection of essays this time, but I, I think of it as a follow-up to Korean American, a sequel. You know, that book ends with me driving away from my mom's house. Um, so this one starts there, um, and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. We love you. And I should, I should make the point, on, on other shows, you might see people take one bite. I literally <laughs> ate the entire plate. Only on the Tamron Hall show does the host really yeah, eat like really 17 does. bites of food yeah. because that's how good it is. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so Thank proud you. of you. Thank you so much. Thank so you. proud of you. TamronHallShow.com. Get more details on Eric's delicious sheet pan kimchi recipe. The book Korean American Food That Tastes Like Home is out now. You can find more recipes, New York Times cooking, and catch his recipe quest on the New York Times cooking YouTube channel.